Guy's Garage. Like and subscribe. Welcome back to This Guy's Garage. Before we get started on this unboxing, take the time and hit that subscribe button. And uh, you'll be glad you did. So we got some parts here for Project Dirty Rat. And uh, waiting on these parts. And uh, let's get started with opening them. Box is in a little bit of rough shape, but so here's what we have. This is transmission dipstick. Black in color. See here it goes into the transmission end. And This goes on the firewall. And it came with a tube, the filler tube, so. Alright, let's, let's open it up and have a full look at it. So here it is. You can see the end that goes in the transmission has two O-rings and uh, the factory metal dipstick tube has one so that's an improvement that I can see right off the bat. And here's where it mounts so you can pretty much mount this anywhere, mount it to your firewall, you're able to pull out your dipstick. Now that's a uh, pretty rough looking. Hey, it was 20 bucks. It'll do the job. Now, there's no markings on this dipstick, so you're going to have to mark it yourself. And uh, so, this will fit any Turbo 350 or Turbo 400. It looks a hell of a lot better, and it's uh, much cheaper than uh, the factory unit. So, if you, especially if you don't have the proper location for a factory unit like on this race car application. So that is the dipstick for the Turbo 350 and Turbo 400. And it's a good looking piece as seen on Amazon or eBay. And I paid 20 bucks for it. So just wanted to give you a first look. And my first impression is it's worth the money. Next, we have the Pro Comp distributor and Pro Comp ignition box. I'm making this video because I haven't seen any uh, videos actually on these pieces. So. If you're thinking about taking a chance on it, you won't be as blind as I was. So what do we have first here? No damage on the box. So, so this is the Pro Comp ignition box. And I was just going to say, I wasn't happy because uh, it didn't come with any instructions. But, the instructions are right here on the back, the wiring diagram. Uh, the reason why I chose this is because it has a built-in two-step and a built-in rev limiter. So, There are the switches, you can see them right there. Really, it looks like a pretty well machined piece. I'm not going to take it apart. But uh, uh, there's a website address there, ProCompElectronics.com. Now I searched that website out. There's not much information on the website, but I possibly may put a link in the description. And I will give you my uh, first impression is looks pretty good looks pretty close to an MSD one and I know these they use these a lot down in Australia so so 
so far I paid a hundred and eight or nine dollars Canadian for this so if it works it's definitely worth the money because an MSD equivalent is probably about five hundred dollars Canadian next cap and rotor button for the distributor red comes with the screw comes with the cap and coil uh, this distributor setup was seventy three dollars Canadian and it came with cap, coil, rotor button, billet aluminum distributor, and a set of wires. For 71, and they're 10 mil, they're 10 mil wires. For $70, I couldn't buy a set of wires around here, so this was definitely worth taking a chance on. And that is just a pre reproduction cap, and uh, it looks as good as any other cap that I've seen. All copper terminals on the inside. So this should work just fine, as long as the coil is good, and it's supposed to be a high energy coil, so that's that. And next, I'm going to assume this is the wire set, and it is. This is a set of wires for a big block Chevrolet, or a small block Chevrolet, I think the wire sets are the same. And the wire is by Speedmaster, and I don't have much information on that company, but they do have uh, the HEI cap wires. They're proper and specific to my application, so some 10 millimeter wires, they should work out just fine. And last, but certainly not least, The last of my white box speed parts is the distributor. Distributor. Has a new gear on the end here, as you can see. Has a little bit of schmoo inside. It does have your centrifugal vacuum, centrifugal advance, along with your vacuum advance. So both advances, brand new, built-in module. It is a very nice piece. It's a uh, well machined. Bearings feel good inside the distributor. And if you were going to take a chance on one of these, it's worth taking a chance on. Now there is a number on this uh, on this module. The number is, it's a car care piece, CM100219EA4C, A45C, I'm sorry. So, that's the inside of the distributor. It's a close-up view. I'll take some, some more footage of it. And one thing I noticed right off the hop, the gasket doesn't really uh, fit. Oh well, have to clean that up and make sure it fits. But it's a billet distributor, and uh, I don't know what spring weights are on here for the advance, but we'll get that all sorted out when it goes on the dyno. So there are some parts I bought for my race car project, Project Dirty Rat. And uh, if you were thinking about buying these parts for yours, hope this gives you a little insight of what they look like, what you can expect to get. Keep cool in the hot sun. Don't be cheap, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Let's go out.